Transform Movement is an organisation set up for 16 to 24 year olds where we would, where I will be facilitating workshops that looks at where they are now and where they want to be in the future. So we'll be taking young people through a process. It won't just be one workshop, it'll be a number of workshops taking them through the process of what they want to achieve and how they're going to achieve that. Drawn out a passion within me that I didn't know I always had. I was in foster care growing up. So today we're going into the childcare, childcare department in Bristol and um, sort of getting the name of my social worker. So I'm going to meet someone in there who's going to actually get my file. I'm not going to read the file. I feel I'm happy with my life, I'm in a good place now and I don't really need to get the file. But um, I've seen we're going to go in place. now, meet the person who's going to get my file for me and she's going to look at some stuff and get me the name of my social worker. So, here we go. Being my own journey is saying, look, change is possible. So, feeling a little bit disappointed, just a tad, a tad bit because I thought the file would be here and I'd get the name today so I could possibly find my social worker today. But everything happens for a reason. Um, if I do find her, I can still call her up on the phone or could even make another visit down to Bristol. Um, who knows, but the lady who's, she's got my file on order. She said the file may come today or tomorrow and then when the file just comes, she'll give me a call with the name of my social worker and the correct spelling. So. Moving on to the next person. Thanks. Got my teacher's house, Mr. Babe, my biology teacher. Yeah, so, um. Just hold on. Hi. Hello, sir. Sir, I'm not going to say I first met Judith when she, she arrived at Fairfield back in 1982, it seems. She was a fairly loud, typical West Indian origin child who had lots of fun, wanted lots of fun. She was good, she was good spirit, spirited, but she was loud, um, mouthy. She had a presence about her. She definitely wanted always to be served attention and she always had lots to say. She couldn't come into a room quietly. She had to make everyone know that she was there. If you have people like Judith in your class, you just hope they get expelled. I never had any problems with her, but I do know that other teachers did have problems with her uh, because they, they found her very difficult. She just bully everybody at school. I think foster children do have a harder time. They don't have two parents to go turn to. Uh, but not all children have good parents. Uh, so it isn't always easy uh, as a child anyway. Sometimes people think that children from a disadvantaged background are not going to do well or they're not going to aspire too much. Uh, and perhaps they don't always get those opportunities and support. 